Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the ways you can uh, make Dolphin run better for NBA Street Volume 2. Luckily enough, uh, John's won <laughs> on the NLSC forums. This is the Virtual Hardwood sub forum, and this is a sticky, the Dolphin emulator settings for NBA Street Volume 2. This is a fantastic resource on how to get Dolphin set up for you to use it. So this is Dolphin right here. Um, you can install it wherever the hell, just you know, start the EXE. You want to go to graphics, or for audio, you go to config, and go to the audio tab, and you can do this stuff. Uh, this requires a download that you have to look for yourself on uh, YouTube, on YouTube, on Google, and it will let you uh, actually listen to the music and commentary and stuff in the game. Uh, for graphics, you know, when you're configuring stuff, you do want to show FPS just so you can see what you're doing. If you have fraps, that works too. Uh, V-Sync, if you want to, is right here. Uh, hide mouse cursor if you want. Uh, you can force 12.9 or 16.9. Just remember that in the game, um, you can have it use uh, widescreen um, in one of the options menus. So keep that in mind. Um, go to enhancements and internal resolu resolution. For uh, the max is 4x native, and it makes the game look nice and crisp and beautiful. Um, but you know, obviously, 1x is what you see um, natively on a GameCube version of the game. Um, you go anti-aliasing, um, filtering. I mean, all this stuff is basic computer stuff. If you need to know more about it, um, check out e both this guide or just Google and just figure out what these things do. Um, inside the game, remember to do the widescreen and uh, camera type. That's a, that's a new one. So this is basic stuff just to get this running. The other thing that you need to worry about is the GameCube pad. Now I am using an Xbox 360 controller, which is an X input controller. And as you can see, I've just got an A, B, X, Y for the buttons. I have the the shoulder uh, R1 uh, or RB for Z uh, start. I mean, it's a very basic setup. I guess the best way to put it: the triggers for L and R, and the D-pad is the D-pad. The C stick is the right stick. Nice and simple. Make sure you type in a name here and press save when you're done, just so you can uh, quickly load up um, in a profile if you need to. If for whatever reason you update Dolphin and you need to redo your profile. Um, other than that, that is basically it. Um, the rest of the stuff is just more advanced. All you need to do is just press open and select your ISO or your GCM or DAL or these other kind of files, whatever you have, but probably an ISO. And remember, if you ask for the ISO download, I am going to block you from the channel. You will get banned from the NLSC. We are zero tolerance on all this stuff. Ideally, you guys are going to get these ISOs by yourself from the GameCube version of the game that you own. Um, anything else, we don't want to hear about it. We will ban people over this. So please keep that in mind. Um, I hope this helps setting up Dolphin, and we'll get into more advanced stuff right now. See you in the next video. Take care.